welcome back to the channel guys it's been kind of a fun day for me it's kind of like Christmas around here Got some new stuff that I want to show you and uh, a little bit later I'll, I'll put it to action and uh, make a little video of that too but uh, first of all a little update on my good buddy Paul Short um, you know if if you own a Kubota and you have a computer, you should know who Paul Short is. If you don't, look him up on YouTube, okay? Paul has a great channel. Uh, Paul had a heart attack about a week ago, uh, a little more than a week ago. Um, he lives up in Bay Roberts, Newfoundland, and uh, it was a pretty massive heart attack, kind of a scary situation. Uh, Paul was finally able to go in for an angiogram, which is uh, more commonly known as the dye test. Uh, they found out that Paul had 80% uh, blockage in one artery and they put a stent in and uh, he should make a full recovery. So looking forward to seeing Paul soon. I know a lot of people were praying for him so um, hey Paul if you're watching we're really happy to hear about that. So uh, happy healing to you. I know that's good news for you and Kathy and uh, you know, prayers paid off. So, all right, I got a lot of new stuff. Uh, had the the mail lady today drop this off today in this very exact spot. In fact, they haven't even moved it. Let's take a look at what we got here, guys. This should be what I think it is. So we're going to break into this thing here, and we're going to open it up, and I'm going to show you what it is. This I got off of Amazon for, oh, I think I paid $65, and it's going to replace, well, it is oh my, no back. Okay, that was packaged well. This is a three-point hitch, a receiver hitch for the tractor that I thought would be a little bit of a better system than what I have. Um, this Titan hitch is awesome. I have no complaints. It's well built. Uh, this, I believe, is also made by Titan. I don't see a decal on it, but I thought that I saw on Amazon that it was a Titan attachment. So anyway, um, very, just looking at it, I'm really happy with the construction of this. Uh, the ma the uh, manufacturing looks really good, really solid. A lot of good welds. There's only one problem, it's red. And I don't like red too much. So this is uh, going to get painted Kubota orange, but it's not going to get painted anytime soon because I need to use it. I don't have time to wait for it to dry. So this is going to get put on the tractor. And I'm going to show you a couple other things that I got today. Went up town this morning, spent a little bit of money, didn't really want to, but I ended up doing it anyway. And uh, show you what I have in the back of the truck. All right, guys, I bought a few different things. This is a tool cart or a shop cart that I got at Home Depot. This is a cargo carrier that I got at Harbor Freight and I only paid about $47 for that so pretty happy with that. This is a sprayer that I had to kind of bite the bullet on but I was still able to get it for under $200. It's a broadcast and spot sprayer. So all these things combined, all these new toys, oh, minus this one, that one's just an impulse buy. <laughs> Gotta do that once in a while. Along with this receiver hitch, are going to set me up to uh, spray some lawns, spray some grass and get rid of some dandelions in a more efficient, uh, in a more of an efficient way anyway. So that's the plan. Um, I'm gonna set things up, put it all together, and uh, you know, then you can see the demo of how it's going to work, I suppose. So that's what we got going on today. Um, stay tuned. All 
All right, guys, here's what I got so far. Um, got the pins on. Uh, when I put my pins on here, I like to make sure that when you put the lynch pin on that it's vertical up and down. That way, if this ever comes loose, it's at least gravity can hold it in there and hopefully you don't lose it because I have had a couple times where these pins, you don't think they're going to unsnap, but they catch some brush or something and they uh, they will come loose. They're not, they're not uh, guaranteed to stay on anyway. So did the same thing over here. Let's make sure that holds up and down. Helps, but um, here it is. It's red. This kind of looks weird on an orange tractor, but that's the way it's going to be for now. I will eventually paint it orange to match, but that's just not going to be today. Next, I've got the cargo carrier. I'm going to unbox that, put it together, and we're going to put it on here, and hopefully everything uh, fits like I want it to. So, I want you guys watch the uh, fast high speed version of that. Let's see how fast I work. Here we go. For Paul. Right, we're making another one for Paul. Well, this isn't for Paul. This is just for everybody else. Guess what, though? What? Paul's doing better. Aren't you excited? Yeah. I just found that out the other day. Last night, I found out. He's doing okay. He's going to be all right now. Mm -hmm. Isn't that neat? Good thing we were praying for him, huh? Yeah. Can you say hi to everybody? Hi. Hi, everyone. We're making a YouTube video, and our tractor disappeared, didn't it? Where did our tractor go? Joe is using it. Mr. Joe, our neighbor, is using it, isn't he? Yeah. He came over, he's borrowed, or he's moving some rock along the side of his house. Yeah, so, he's borrowing it for yeah, now. Yeah, I told him he could borrow it because it's a lot easier than a wheelbarrow. Right? Yeah. So he's going to use it for a little while, but we were able to get the uh, cargo carrier hooked up. And you have no idea what I did because you were sleeping the whole time. I'll have to show you later. And we have a new quick hitch for the for the tractor. Do you know what that is? I'll show you another time. Alright, but what do we got here? What's this? What's in this big box? What is that? Another one of these? Well, kind of, yeah. It's kind of like a big old toolbox. Daddy, please open it. Should we open it up and put it together? That's kind of exciting. Open Daddy, now. Daddy bought this today. Open it now. Okay, I'll open it. My goodness. I'm excited. Hold your horses. I can't. Why? Don't you have any horses? No. Well, you better get some. All right. Oh, boy. Oh, look at it. Styrofoam. Just what we don't like. Well, I like Diaphone. Oh, do you? I'm not a big fan of it. So, Brielle, this toolbox is going to kind of go right over there where that white cabinet is. And you know where we're going to put that white cabinet? In the shed. Because we don't need it in the garage. It can go in the shed. And you can use it for playing if you want. Because I know that you like to play in the shed sometimes. Yeah, because it's like a big playhouse for you, isn't it? Yeah. What are you talking about? This, oh, what am I talking about? I'm talking about this white cabinet right here. Oh, yeah. that's a playhouse. Well, it's going to go in the shed. And you can use it to keep some toys in. Okay? Okay. All right, so that's a pretty good deal. And then Daddy will have well, this one. some toys don't fit. No, some toys won't fit, but some will. Think your bubbles will fit in there? Mm. Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah, they will. What else will fit in there? I know my bubbles will fit in there. You think you have some other toys? I gotta go potty. <laughs> Bye, Camera. <laughs> All right. Go potty. Check on Brindley. See if she's still sleeping. Okay. <laughs> All right. I don't know if I mentioned or not at the beginning of this video, but I'm home alone with the kids. The wife went uh, uptown. It's garage sale day for her, so I'm just kind of home alone. They both went down for a nap at the same time, so it was amazing. That's why I was able to get some stuff done. Uh, right now we're putting the toolbox together. This was kind of an impulse buy today. 
Yeah, not really. I saw it last week and I thought about it for a while and then I had to buy it. Um, it was on sale, $150 for a, well, you'll see what it is. It's, it's pretty nice, actually. Brielle, what do you think so far? Good. You think it's a pretty neat idea? Yeah, it's kind of a neat little toolbox. And they get lots of styrofoam. Lots of styrofoam. We don't like styrofoam, do we? Yeah, they sure packaged it pretty well. Wish they didn't have to use all that styrofoam, but it is what it is. So this toolbox has a nice big flat top, doesn't it? Yeah. Which I think we'll put a piece of uh, Daddy, let's get piece the... of wood on top of it or something. Hi, Daddy. Go, Tom. More styrofoam. More styrofoam. Stop giving us styrofoam. Stop giving us styrofoam. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's yucky. Use paper or cardboard, huh? Yeah. Yeah. We don't stick like styrofoam. <laughs> Yeah, it's yucky. Say styrofoam again. Styrofoam. Styrofoam. Perfect. We don't like styrofoam. All right. Let's give it a rest now. Goodness sakes. Stop giving us styrofoam. This is the bottom tray. Oh, for crying out loud, styrofoam everywhere. Well, there's this little sakes. styrofoam here. It's ridiculous. There's more styrofoam here. It's ridiculous. Doesn't yeah. need to be. It's not a car. It can get scratched up once in a while, can it? Yeah. Oh, ridiculous peoples. I tell you. Don't give a styrofoam. Yeah, quit giving a styrofoam. Stop giving us go stop giving us styrofoam. Okay. Relax now, are you okay? Are you, are you mad enough? No. Have you told him how it is? No. Yeah. Well, let's keep putting this together. Ooh, you know what these are. What are those? Wheels. Wheels. Now the last Husky toolbox that I have, the one over there, came with some really poorly made wheels. This one looks like it might uh, be a little bit better. Nope, other way. Righty tighty. Righty tighty. Righty tighty, lefty. Righty. Lefty Lucy. Yeah. Righty tighty. There, there's my arm thing. Yeah. Right up there. All right. Now, come on. Stay focused. You got an important job to do. This way? Righty tighty. Yep. Yeah. They're not that way. Okay. I've been there the wrong way. You were? Yeah. Right. I'm a silly goose. You're a silly goose. <laughs> Good job. Now we'll tighten them with a the wrench, okay? Okay. And you can help me do that too. Are you this way? This way, Dad? Yep, that's right, tidy. Right, tidy. Let's go, The bubbles with your face. <laughs> okay, get out of there. I think you scared everyone now. Yeah. I think you scared them. All right, there we go, Brielle. Got one part done. That's the base. How will we look at directions? At the directions? I don't like looking at directions, do you? Yeah. Uh, directions are the worst. Oh, don't go on. Don't go right here. Thanks for you. Ooh, well, it's been a productive day in this garage. Got all kinds of stuff done. Bought a bunch of new toys. And uh, here's the uh, cargo rack on the tractor with the new receiver hitch that will be painted orange. And over here, as you saw, I bought that toolbox, so that is all assembled, and now that's going to be in the garage, so that means something else has got to go, and I think this white cabinet is going to go somewhere else, so we're going to have something a little bit better than that, and that will replace that thing. So that's good. Um, neighbor came over, had to borrow the tractor. Uh, I'm pretty comfortable with some of my neighbors borrowing my tractor, but you guys might have different opinions on that. And I'm sure a lot of you do, you know, letting your neighbors borrow stuff. Well, this is a guy I could trust, so he borrowed it. He had to move some uh, rock on the side of his house. And now I am on to 
opening this box up. ATV broadcast and spot sprayer. However, it's going to fit right on that rack, let's hope. And everything will come together and work perfectly as the plan. Um, so you're going to watch that process come together. All right. Stay tuned. Well, that fits pretty nicely, really. This cargo rack is actually pretty big, so no problem there. Okay, attention. Parts shipped inside tank, so I'm going to get that taken apart. I'm going to get this thing ready to go. I'm going to go spray some grass. Well, this new toy worked pretty well. I'm pretty pleased with it. And now I'm just rinsing it out. Uh, I did approximately 30,000 square feet with uh, my yard and across the street added together. Um, not sure if the chemical is strong enough, but you know we'll have to wait and see for the results. Um, if it wasn't, I'm out 10 bucks and I'll reapply it. But um, you know, it is what it is. It's been a pretty fun day so far, so something new. Something new to add to the toolbox. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope it wasn't too boring for you. Um, you know, the ongoings of uh, the Ritter household. So, uh, you know, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, comment. Uh, I'm feeling pretty fortunate that I got almost 500 subscribers, so. Keep them coming, you know. You got questions? Ask. I'll be happy to answer. All right. Keep tractoring and uh, take care and God bless.